everybody, welcome again to another episode of Fish Keeping Jamaica. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so you have seen in the previous video where in which I um I actually show you my flies swimming. And and there's a lot of takeaways from this. Um one, I realized that uh bitter fish, just like some other fish, they really love privacy. So because of the lack of privacy in the white stub in which I had before, not because of the algae, they are uh, they you find that they they actually laid the eggs and uh, you know fries came about there is this other thought that it is as a result of the females not being ready for uh, for spawning while uh, the fries the eggs were not um, laid and the fries actually came to fruition that could be true I am not sure because I'm not a, 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 I call it a professional beta fish breeder I'm a no I'm a novice this is my first experience okay so now that the fries are free swimming in the tub I'm gonna have to keep the adult beta fish male in the tub and I'm gonna now have to extract the female in which you have actually seen me doing that right now if you look at the screen you will realize that the, the female is not there once I have realized that the fries are free swimming I will extract the female I put the female one side and the male now will stay with the, the fries uh, for the next probably uh, about 12 weeks, 14 weeks and we'll see what happens from then. My next move is to actually make a matrix aquarium so as to put each beta fish, whether male or female, in each different section. That I will show you in a few weeks time. But for now, I can gloat on Rob93 and Aquafog, right? Also, I would like to thank J Betas for J Beta Fish. You see the link below for confidence in me in breeding these beta fish, right? Also, three brothers, you never yet let up to say that boy, you know, you, you always encourage. Thank you very much. Have an awesome day. Rally here. Catch you next time. Cool.